Good evening, welcome to the programme. Police investigating online footage showing self-styled vigilante Muslims patrolling the streets of Whitechapel have arrested two people. The images show a group of men approaching people close to the East London Mosque, demanding women to cover themselves up and telling men to pour away alcohol. Tonight, mosque leaders condemned those behind the videos, saying their actions were not in accordance with the Islamic faith. Our Home Affairs correspondent, Guy Smith, reports. The holy, obviously, to, to, to not dress like that in Muslim area. It's a Muslim in area. Confronting a woman wearing a short skirt. No alcohol, no alcohol allowed. Intimidating a man carrying a can of beer. Alcohol, bad. This is a Muslim area. Why are you bothering me? I'm not, I'm not because you, you're walking through a Muslim area. You're walking through a Muslim area dressed like a fag, mate. You need to get out of it. And harassing a passerby with homophobic comments all filmed and anonymously uploaded onto the internet. These individuals claim to be Muslims patrolling the streets of East London. It's a Muslim area. Obviously no alcohol is allowed in this area. We're just appalled by these videos. It's utterly unacceptable um, behaviour towards uh, members of the, of the public. Salman Farsi is a spokesman for the largest mosque in the capital. He says there have also been incidents outside his place of worship in East London. None of this behaviour stems from our religion and, uh, you know, it's a duty upon us to speak out against this. I'm so we don't care if you're appalled at all. Muslim patrol, it's Muslim area. It's Great Britain. This we don't Women care. It's not so Muslim. Great Britain. These are clearly actions by a tiny minority, but are they prompted by honestly held beliefs or just an attempt to be deliberately provocative. Abdul Mahid says he too organised patrols against prostitution in Waltham Forest and filmed them. And four years ago, he was convicted of fundraising for terrorists. I asked him if he thought these latest videos were acceptable or not. I believe if anyone else can do a better job than that, they should come out and do a better job and make an example of how to do a better Isn't job. It intimidating and harassing people. I, I believe that if someone else can do a, a job uh, better in a better way, they should come forward and do such a job and show the, these young individuals, uh, give them Calling an example. someone gay as if that's a, if that's a problem in society, it's not a problem, is it? Like I said, if someone knows how to do a uh, action better than this, they should come forward. As you can see, on a Saturday night. After a drunken night out, many people have been injured and haram has taken place. This was an accident the self-styled Muslim patrol chose to highlight their beliefs. Scotland Yard says two people have been arrested in connection with the videos. And guys here now, a widespread condemnation of this group, but there's no suggestion that this is anything other than a tiny minority of extremists, is there? Absolutely, because I think it's important to stress that this is a handful of agitators who are stirring up tensions within the community. Clearly, it's a publicity stunt, and actually they're doing the job uh, for the far-right political groups. The police say that they're taking this seriously. They're trying to reassure the community, saying that these are very rare incidents. Uh, they've been talking to community leaders, to uh, business leaders, and also to the local authority about this issue. They have arrested uh, two people, a 19-year-old and a 22-year-old. They are currently on bail until March, pending further inquiries. Guy, thank you. Our Home Affairs correspondent, Guy Smith. Coming up later.